Hi, thanks for your interest in our EVRMA blog posts regarding NIPT screening following PGTA. So the reason that we really wanted to circulate this data to both patients and providers is that both the NIPT screen and IVF utilizing PGTA are becoming increasingly popular and patients are often faced with a decision as to whether or not they per should even proceed with the NIPT screen if they know that they had a quote euclid embryo transfer. So one of the first things we wanted to figure out is how common is it for a patient to sequentially undergo both forms of test? And when we looked at our cohort of patients here at RMA, we found over a thousand women who had proceeded with NIPT screens following a euclid embryo transfer. Ultimately, we were trying to figure out what is the positive predictive value of that NIPT screen when you have undergone IVF with PGTA. So we looked for any patients that had had abnormal screens and we were able to identify only eight patients that had had a positive NIPT screen. So it's rather rare that this even occurs. And then of those eight patients, we had one patient that through invasive diagnostic testing with an amniocentesis was confirmed to have a true genetic abnormality. So it did identify something that was missed perhaps on PGTA. It was a Turner mosaic, so we can understand how that might have happened in that circumstance. But we feel that it is important for patients to be given the option to have an NIPT screen regardless of prior testing, because very rarely you may identify something that was not detected on PGTA. But ultimately, patients should feel very reassured that if they do have an abnormal NIPT following a euclid embryo transfer, the most likely outcome is that it is a false positive finding. And we know now that the positive predictive value is only 12.5%. Thanks.